Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. If you are new here, my name is Kevin. Welcome. Remember to hit that subscribe button. Today we are going to do a little special request, a part 2 video of this Sony SA-CS9 subwoofer. Alright, let's get into this. I want to show you guys how much resistance the subwoofer has. So let's do a quick test. So this subwoofer has about 1.16 kilo ohms of resistance. When there's resistance, there's heat. Therefore, you need to create heat vents for the system in order for it to cool down. The higher the number of resistance, the more heat vents the system should have. In my previous video, I made a mistake about this. This is actually a pass-through where this is actually joins the wires together from the device side to your speakers. I also want to show you the resistance of this pass-through. It should be little to none. And it's working correctly. Zero as expected. I would like to share one last tip with you guys. If you guys want to test out your pass-through, if it's working or not, the easiest way would be do a continuity test. So if it beeps, that means the pass-through is working in order. Okay, perfect, it's working. Now I will demonstrate on how to use the pass-through. So for the outside, this will be my speaker side. The red with positive and the negative with the black. So if I follow this wire, here I have it hooked up to my bookshelf speaker. Black with black, red with red. Now on the other side is the input side. That will be my receiver where all the analog signals is coming from. Red with red, black with black. Now I am ready to play some music. Sorry guys, that's the end of this video. Remember to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Peace out.